Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? My name is John Angelo and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, for this video, ang topic natin is all about how to properly use retinol or retinoids. Now, as we all know, retinol or retinoids, they're really one of the best, if not the best active to include in a skincare routine kasi ang dami niyang target na iba't ibang common skin concerns. But as we all know, yung mga retinoids and retinol, meron yung mga specific ways on how you should properly use it sa skincare routine. Mo. And it's very important to always take note of and remember yung mga specific steps na to, whether beginner ka pa lang or kahit ilang months in ka na sa paggamit ng retinoids because these will really help you get the results that you want. So in this video, I've included a lot of information about how to use retinoids that I've learned from different experts like board-certified dermatologists na naka-work and naka-consult ko na rin personally. Also, I will be sharing some personal tips as someone na consistently na rin gumagamit ng retinoids for more than 4 years already. So that being said, wala nang any any let us begin now kapag gusto mong gumamit ng retinoids or retinol in your routine it's very important to first make sure na meron ka na ng lahat ng mga requirements before using them and yung mga tinatawag kong requirements na to these will help you a lot in making retinoids or retinol work for you so tatlong requirements lang to guys and that is number 1 do make sure first that you already have a basic skincare routine consisting of a cleanser moisturizer and a sunscreen kung wala pa ops stop muna kayo rito i do recommend watching first my video on how to build a basic skincare routine. Ililink ko siya sa upper right. And wag yung palampasin yung video na yun guys because it's very important that before you use any skincare active na alam mo muna yung basics ng isang skincare routine. Kasi sa paggamit ng retinoids and retinol guys, a good low pH gentle cleanser, a high protection sunscreen, and a soothing moisturizer are integral, meaning very necessary sila in helping your retinoids or retinol work better and more effectively on your skin. Next number two requirement is you must must have already chosen the right retinoid or retinol product for you. And guys, this is also very important because one of the main reasons kung bakit hindi nakukuha ng iba yung results na gusto nila from their retinoids is simply because mali yung kind of retinoid or retinol product na pinili nila. Depending kasi sa skin concern mo, merong specific retinol or retinoid product to use and meron ding proper way to use it na magiging aligned sa skin goals mo. So again, if hindi nyo pa sure if you're using the right retinoid or retinol for you, do watch this video video first on how to choose. And especially kung yung concern nyo guys is acne or acne marks pero may active pa rin kayo na breakouts and also kung marami kayong butlig-butlig sa face which can also be considered a form of acne. Kasi guys, para sa mga skin concerns na yon meron ding tamang retinoid for you. And last but not the least, requirement number three, one of the most important requirements before using retinoids or retinol, you will need long-term commitment. And promise, skincare pa rin yung pinag-uusapan natin dito guys. Hindi ako humuhugo sorry na lang kung merong matamaan. Pero seriously guys, yung mga retinol and retinoids kasi, for you to be able to get good results from them and para ma-maintain niya siya, you have to be very patient and consistent. As in, kung naghahanap kayo ng results tomorrow, in 3 days, next week, or even in 1 to 2 months, a retinoid and retinol is not going to do that for you. Kasi ang minimum ng mga to is around 3 to 6 months before mo talaga makikita yung results. So, hindi pwede yung basta-basta ka nalang titigil or basta-basta ka nalang mag expect ng results. And yung 3 to 6 months na yun, guys na road to seeing results from your retinoid or retinol product minsan roller coaster ride talaga yun guys. And I'm sure ang dami sa skincare community is makaka-agree dito kasi hindi talaga smooth sailing lagi ang journey when it comes to retinoids or retinol products. So kailangan medyo marunong kang kumapit pag medyo hindi mo pa nakikita yung mga results. So make sure to have these 3 requirements first before continuing because in our next step we'll now be exploring how to incorporate retinoids or retinol in your skincare routine. So first, let's start with when you will be using it sa skincare routine mo. And in general guys, retinoids and retinol are best used during the night time. Kasi most retinoids degrade kapag merong araw. Now yes, technically yung ibang mga retinoids can be used during the day. Like for example, if yung ginagamit mo is adapalene. Pero guys, the most optimal way to use them or the best way to use them nang wala kang worry about is really going to be at night. And alam kong may mga ibang nanonood dyan na night shift workers na curious kailan nila gagamitin yung retinol, it's still going to be the same guys, use it sa routine na ginagawa mo kapag wala pang sumisikat na araw. Simple as that. So sa night routine nyo guys, kung meron na kayong basic skincare routine, I'm sure you already have your cleanser and your moisturizer. So your retinoid or retinol product nyo, this comes after your cleanser. And then depending on your skin type, pwedeng yung retinol product nyo muna. And then moisturizer. That is, if your skin is more on the oily side or the normal side. But if your skin is very dry, sensitive, or prone to irritation, ang pwede nyo namang gawin 
is to put a thin layer of moisturizer on your face first. And then, kapag fully na absorb na yung moisturizer, dun yung i-apply yung retinol sa skin nyo. This helps na hindi masyadong ma-irritate yung skin mo from your retinol or retinoid product. Now, when applying your retinoid or retinol product, make sure to use a pea size only. So, kung nahihirapan kayong imaginin kung ano yung pea size, imaginin nyo yung literal na green peas na nakikita nyo dun sa Yang Chow Fried Rice. Ganun lang kalaki, guys. And then, yung paglagay nito sa skin para pantay yung paglagay niya. And again, ito, tinuruto ng isang dermatologist on YouTube, si Dr. Sam Bunting. Do the 13 dot technique. So, 1, 2, 3 sa noo, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sa cheeks. 10, 11, 12 sa chin at sa jaw, and then 13 sa ilong. And don't worry if sobrang konti lang yung product na dumaan sa kung anong part mo siya nilagay kasi thin layer lang naman yung kailangan. So basta nadaanan siya once ng product, okay na yun. Now next is yung frequency or yung gaano kadalas mong gagamitin yung retinol. So the nice part about this is kung beginner ka pa lang, regardless kung anong retinoid or retinol yung gagamitin mo sa skin, we all more or less start the same way. And that way is to start using your retinoid or retinol product twice a week first na merong rest day sa gitna. So, ikaw na bahala. Pwede Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Thursday, whatever works for you. Basta twice a week and hindi magkasunod-sunod yung days. And then after mo siya gamitin twice on your first week, dito na tayo magkakaiba-iba. So, yung next goal, you guys, is to slowly increase per week yung paggamit nyo ng retinoid or retinol product hanggang sa mahanap nyo yung limit ng skin nyo. And dito na sa part na to papasok yung hiyangan sa skincare, guys. Because yung limit ng bawat tao, depending on the retinoid or retinol product that they're using, iba-iba yan. Because again, as experts always say, iba-iba ang skin natin lahat. So again, from two times on your first week, sa next week mo, try mo naman three times and see if okay pa rin yung skin mo. Kung wala pa namang sensitivity or walang irritation sa skin mo, then the next week, if okay pa siya, try mo every other night naman. And again, if wala ka namang sensitivity or irritation na na-feel sa skin mo after that week, then on the following week, try mo naman siya ng every night. So again, yung mga results na may kita nyo dito will be different from person to person. Merong mga iba hanggang three times a week lang talaga sila with a certain retinol product. May iba naman like me na kunyari, yung pang beginner lang na retinol yung ginagamit kong product. Minsan kaya talaga ng skin ko every other night or minsan every night. And take note guys ha, if at any point sa process na to na irritate yung skin mo as in na mula siya or humapde, my derma always tells me this kapag nagsisimula akong gumamit ng retinol or retinoid products, stop muna for three days to one week and then antayin mong mawala muna yung irritation. Antayin mo munang dumating ka ulit dun sa point na kapag gumagamit ka ng mga normal products on your skin, hindi siya humaha. And then, kapag feeling mo okay na yung skin mo ulit, balik ka na doon sa frequency or sa times per week na ginagamit mo yung retinoid or retinol product na hindi na irritate yung skin mo. So kapag nahanap nyo na yung limit nyo when it comes to your retinoid or retinol product, ito na yung part na kailangan maging patient and consistent kayo. So at this point, tuloy-tuloy nyo na siyang gagamitin sa routine nyo consistently for a minimum of 3 months. So sa akin guys, personally, yung 3-month mark para sa akin is kapag naubos or paubos na yung product. And then, then after 3 months or after naubos na yung product ninyo, that's when you would want to check on your results. And again, depende ulit to sa skin goals mo and sa skin concerns that you want to tackle with retinoids or retinol. If more on maintenance ka lang and satisfied ka naman sa skin mo on retinol, then yung retinol routine mo, pwede mo na siyang ituloy-tuloy indefinitely. Pero kung let's say hindi ka pa rin satisfied sa results mo from using your retinoid or retinol product after 3 months, then this is the time na pwede mo nang i-consider na akyatin yung percentage ng product. So kunyari, 0.1% retinol yung ginagamit nyo ngayon, pwede mo nang itry yung 0.5%. And then, repeat mo lang ulit yung entire process. So hanapin mo lang ulit yung frequency or yung dalas na pinakakaya mo yung retinol sa skin mo. Especially since medyo mas malakas na yung product na gagamitin mo, yung ibang tao minsan nag-change kung gaano nila kadalas kaya gamitin yung product na yun. And then, pag nahanap mo na ulit yung limit mo and kung ilang beses lang per week yung kaya mo, keep at it again for 3 months or until maubos yung product na yun. And then, after 3 months, kung hindi ka pa rin satisfied, then you can again increase the percentage and so on and so forth. So, ganun siya guys. And ito talaga yung part na kailangan mo maging consistent and committed sa paggamit ng retinoid or retinol product. Kasi guys, as you can see, it really takes months for you to be able to find out the perfect percentage na effective for you as well as the perfect number of times a week na magagamit mo siya. And even sa akin guys, sa acne journey ko na prescription retinoids yung ginamit ko na binigay ng derma ko sa akin. Kaya talaga nag-take time yung pag-clear ng skin ko from acne is because I had to find out yung percentage na tama para sa akin. And wala talagang lusot dito guys, kaya usually it really does take months before ka makakakita ng results, especially
especially from acne treatment. Alright, so at this point, guys, you already know yung basics of how to include a retinoid or retinol in your skincare routine. Pero, alam ko na maraming mga tao as they progress into their skincare routine with retinol or retinoids, marami pa rin silang iba't ibang mga questions like how to use it with other products, purging, and so on and so forth. So we will be covering that in our third and last section which is all about maintaining a retinol routine. So nai na natin yung favorite question ng lahat which is Pwede ko bang gamitin ang retinol with blank? Insert your other products here. So I want you guys to take note of this kasi ganito lang siya kasimple. So if gusto mong isabay with retinol are hydrating ingredients like for example, hyaluronic acid or snail mucin as well as soothing ingredients like for example, centella asiatica or sika or aloe as well as brightening ingredients like niacinamide, alpha arbutin, azelaic acid, even kojic acid. Lahat ito guys, pwede siyang gamitin with retinol. And kahit hindi ko nilagay lahat ng hydrating, soothing, or brightening ingredients dito, basta under that category siya guys, more or less, okay siya gamitin with retinol. Now, meron lang special rule dito which is with vitamin C zero. So again, very simple lang to and ilang beses ko na ito na-mention sa channel ko. Tingnan nyo lang yung likod ng vitamin C serum ninyo. Hanapin nyo yung ingredients list. Kung meron kayong makitang word sa ingredients list na L-ascorbic acid, kailangan sakto ah. L-ascorbic acid, then I suggest to use it separately. Meaning, gamitin nyo na lang yung vitamin C sa umaga and then yung retinol sa gabi, or pwede siyang gamitin on days na hindi nyo ginagamit yung retinol nyo. Kayong bahala. Simple reason being, yung ingredient na L-ascorbic acid is medyo matapang siya, guys. And especially for beginners, it could be irritating kapag nilayer nyo yung dalawang ingredients na yun. However, kung yung vitamin C serum mo naman is walang L-ascorbic acid sa ingredients list, then okay lang yun. You can use it with retinol. Now guys, the only thing na hinding hinding hindi pwedeng i-layer with retinol is the acne medication na benzoyl peroxide. Now this is one of the few times sa skincare na kina-cancel out ng dalawang products yung isa't isa kapag ni-layer mo sila. And not to mention, very irritating din yung dalawang ingredients kapag ni-layer mo sila sa skin mo. Which is why mananotice nyo guys, yung mga nag acne medication dyan, yung mga derma, ina-advise nila to use Benzac or benzoyl peroxide in the morning and then yung tretinoin nyo sa gabi. Now the only exception exception to this is if ginagamit mo yung retinoid called Adaptalin which is an acne medication. Yun pa lang yung available na retinoid sa Pilipinas that can work together with benzoyl peroxide. But everything else tretinoin or other retinol serums, you cannot pair it with benzoyl peroxide. And speaking of different parts of the day, this is also my advice for those na gumagamit ng retinol and exfoliants sa skin nila. Now technically, yung mga exfoliants and retinol they don't really cancel out each other pero ang advice ng mga dermatologists usually is, especially if beginner ka, avoid using them together or layering them in one routine because again, it can be very irritating. And syempre, again, lalo na kapag hinahanap mo pa yung tamang frequency or dalas ng paggamit ng retinol or retinoid sa skin mo, minsan dagdag irritation and confusion pa yon. kasi confuse ka kung sino ba talaga yung cause ng irritation, yung retinol or yung exfoliant. So it's better na wag nyo sila i-layer and instead use them at different parts of the day. So it's really up to you depending on ilang times ka gumagamit ng retinol or retinoids per week. But the only thing to keep in mind is this. Make sure na before introducing exfoliants into your routine, sanay na yung skin mo from retinol and hindi na siya nai-irritate from it. Isa-isa lang guys, para kapag na-irritate yung skin nyo, alam nyo clearly kung anong active yung nag-cause ng irritation na yun. And speaking of exfoliants, if you do want to learn more about how to introduce exfoliants into your routine, gumawa na rin ako ng video about exfoliating for beginners which you can also watch here. Now moving on to our our next concern, ito guys, napakaraming may concern nito when it comes to using retinol or retinoids and routine and this is all about purging. So sa mga hindi pa masyadong maalam about purging, this is basically the temporary worsening of your skin before it gets better. And yung mga ingredients na nagkakos nito are yung mga ingredients that increase our skin cell turnover or yung pagpalit ng balat natin. One of these ingredients are of course our retinoids or retinol but also exfoliants and the acne medication benzoyl peroxide. Now guys, I just want to clarify something about purging. Kasi maraming gumagamit ng term na to sa social media as something negative. As in, hala nag-purge ako sa product na to, hindi ko na siya gagamitin. Or hala nag-purge ako sa product na to, meaning hindi siya naging effective on my skin. And so on. Pero guys, purging is not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, sign nga siya minsan that the product is actually doing its job sa skin mo. Now don't get me wrong guys, just because hindi ka nag-purge, it doesn't mean na hindi effective yung product sa skin mo. It could also just be na wala ka lang underlying na acne or breakouts or 
resilient lang talaga yung skin mo. And meron ding ganun. And guys, it's also very important to know na yung purging, hindi naman siya nangyayari sa lahat ng gumagamit ng retinol and retinoids. So if yun yung concern ninyo, huwag kayong matakot, especially if ayaw nyo lang gumamit ng retinol or retinoids kasi ayaw nyo mag-purge. Lalo na kung nalagpasan nyo na yung mid to late 20s ninyo na hindi naman naging acne prone yung skin nyo, then you have nothing to worry about too much. Pero on the other hand guys, just because nag-purge ka from your retinol or retinoids, it doesn't mean na magbabreakout ka na rin forever. It just means na nilalabas lang ng retinoids or ng retinol yung mga breakouts na matagal nang nasa loob-looban ng skin mo. Also called underlying breakouts. As in, isipin nyo siya guys na parang ganito. Di ba kapag nag-deep clean tayo or nagpa-purge tayo ng kwarto or any part ng bahay natin, di ba lahat ng kalat tinatanggal muna natin. And habang ginagawa natin yon, syempre mukhang makalat yung kwarto or yung bahay natin. So isipin nyo, para siyang ganun guys. Temporarily mukhang mag worsen muna siya pero actually it's part of the process. And yung process na to is also temporary and should not take any longer than 3 weeks to a month. Kasi kung matagal ka nang purge from a retinol or retinoid product, it's possible na hindi na yan purge. Marami ka lang talagang underlying breakouts or again, yung mga breakouts na hindi mo nakikita pero matagal nang nasa loob-looban ng skin mo. And again, like I always say guys, that has to be treated not only with prescription retinoids but also with other acne medications. And this is also the exact reason kung bakit lagi nating sinasabi na it's better to use prescription retinoids or acne treatment with the guidance of a dermatologist. Kasi guys, pag may nangyaring ganito, unang-una may matatakbuan kang expert which is a dermatologist. And also, meron ding nagagawa yung mga dermatologists para kalmahin yung purging sa skin natin. And also, kung hindi siya purging, acne breakouts na pala siya, then mas mabilis ding maka-actionan and matitreat ng mga dermatologists yan with the right acne medications. And again guys, if you do want to know how to consult a dermatologist for free and online, i-share ko yung link to my step-by-step -step video on how to do that sa end ng video na to. But if hindi naman breakouts yung concern ninyo and you just wanted to learn more about retinoids and retinol, I really do hope you found this video informative. And if you do want to learn more about retinol or retinoids, gumawa rin ako ng entire playlist on that. Ilalagay ko rin at the end of this video. Kasama doon yung mga best ingredients to use with retinol and retinoids and even an interview with an actual dermatologist dermatologist all about retinol. So iwan ko sila lahat dito. And again guys, thank you so much for watching and as usual, I will see you in the next video. Bye!